Hey everybody, Matty Ice here, and in today's video I'm going to take you through week 2 of the Encore Concerto Exotic Mission. And this week it's pretty similar to what happened in the first week as far as the pathing and where the Vex Conflux are. They added a few more enemies into the actual mission itself. It doesn't really make it that much more difficult, but there are two more puzzles now that you need to do in order to get this week's Intrinsic and Catalyst. But before we get too far into it, if you do find this video helpful, I would greatly appreciate it if you could like it and subscribe to the channel. So let's go ahead and start off here with the Nexus Hub area. Just like the first week, activate the Conflux, shoot the boxes in order based on the little white node beneath them, and that's going to activate this hub area. This hub is going to be just like it was last time. You're going to find portals that take you back here throughout the mission, and that's going to be what lets you do the weekly puzzles. So once you've gotten that done, you're going to progress through the mission until you get to the same room that you got before. Right before you go up this elevator where this piston hammer charge thing is, you're going to activate this next conflux. Activating this conflux is going to open a portal to the right, and going through that it will take you back to the hub. Now, unlike last week where there was only one portal active, this time there's two portals active. So if you go through the one on the left, which is what you did the first week, it's going to take you back to this first initial area here. You can do this puzzle again if you want. It doesn't really matter if you've already gotten this intrinsic, but I imagine if you haven't gotten the intrinsic, then it does give it to you from the first week. So it's like their way of letting you catch up, basically. So it seems like since there's three portals and three weeks, three catalysts, three intrinsics, all that, all three portals will be active next week, that's just my guess, but that seems to be the trend we're going for here. So, again, if you want to do this puzzle, feel free. I will have it up on the background, and you can follow along as far as where to shoot the plates. This is just going to get you some normal loot if you've already done this before. But either way, doing this puzzle or not, go back to the Nexus Hub area, and what you want to do is actually go through the one that's at the back of the room directly opposite of where you entered, and this is going to be the new puzzle for this week. Doing the puzzle is going to get you the sample for this week as well as the intrinsic. So this is similar to the one last week where you had to go through the portals and you had two different portals that you could activate and one led to the other and all that. Only this time you can only activate one portal at a time. So you actually have to understand the mechanic that's going on here and I'll explain it as best I can. So what you need to do is go ahead and activate the portals just one at a time and what you're looking for is this white node. This node is going to be above one of the five gates, and that's the one you need to go into. So when you activate a portal, you'll see a line coming from it to another one of those orange cubes above the portals. And what you want is the node to go from the gate to the one that has the white cube above it. So when that line goes from the portal to somewhere else, it's showing you where you would end up if you took that portal. So here in the background you can see that I have a white node above a particular portal. I'm looking around trying to figure out where I need to go in order to get to that particular one. So I'm just testing out a bunch of ones, seeing where the line goes, and that's just kind of my trial and error to figure out where I need to be. I eventually land on this particular portal. I see that the line goes from my portal to where that white node is. Going through that portal then disappears that node from the outside and there's going to be three boxes on the inside. That white node is going to be in front of one of the boxes. I shoot that box, and then I can do damage to the boss. You can only do one third of his health at a time, so if you want to use your super, prismatic, or whatever just to speed things up, that's fine, but you can only do one third at a time. So you do have to do this three times. So again, you can see in the background here, I did the damage, and you essentially just have to reset, redo everything again. There are some adds that spawn with the boss damage phase. There are more that spawn with each phase, so it does get slightly harder, but realistically, it's not that challenging. So just rinse and repeat that two more times. You can do damage from up top, it's since that barrier goes away. Just make sure you don't phase the boss before you do that. It could potentially be problematic, but if you do happen to do that, I imagine you can just go through the portal and make your way back out to the central room that way. So again, just do that two more times, and then you'll have your command frame three, as well as the option to pick up the specimen that's right there.
Dot 59 Chioma, calling any other Ishtar orphans from Variation Gamma of the Pink Sky World. I'm here with Dot 33 Shim and two Chiomas. Dot 27 and one who isn't sharing a number. If you're looking for a place, we've got one. We'll figure this thing out together. Next thing you want to do is just keep progressing through the mission until you get to the area right before the boss. Again, there's going to be a complex. It's pretty apparent, hard to miss. But going through this one is going to take you back to the hub. And again, you've got the left portal and the straight portal. The straight portal, again, takes you back to last week's thing. You want to go through the one on the left for this week's new one. Going in here is going to introduce you to a new module. And that's a red deletion module. This is going to let you get rid of these red kill barriers and it's going to be again just kind of like a little maze puzzle situation here. There are four hidden Vex eyes that you need to pick up in order to complete this puzzle and we're going to start things off by going to the right here. Killing this Minotaur is going to drop a deletion module which again you can just use to get rid of some of these paths. In that room where you kill the first Minotaur there is actually one of the Vex eyes that you need to find and you can tell from that proximity sensor on the left side of your screen how close you are to one. Now I accidentally passed it so I'm going to pick it up at the very end, but if you want to pick that up first, by all means feel free. Otherwise just take this first deletion module all the way back to the very beginning, open that first door, and then you'll find your second deletion module in there, and you'll be able to open the next red door you see, and this is the Vex eye that you're looking for. So for me that's one of four, for you it could be potentially two of four. Once you come back out of here, grab that module you just dropped off and keep progressing through the area up the stairs and you'll be able to open the next red door you see. This one's going to have one of those blue Vex portal modules in it. Again, kill the Minotaur, pick up that module, go through the portal, and you'll be able to find another Vex eye in that next room. Also in this next room is going to be a partition module, which just lets you get out of this room. It's not really necessary as far as the puzzle goes, but it can just help you navigate a little bit. And again, your second Vex eye is in that room. Once you use your partition module and get back out to the main area, we're going to backtrack all the way to where that second red module was, and we're going to pick it up and take it all the way back around here, right next to our partition modules. We're going to need to use both of our red modules kind of back to back, so you need to pick them up in the correct order. If you accidentally pick them up in the wrong order, it's fine. You can't really mess it up too much as long as you're going and like backtracking on your same path. So once you've picked up and deposited both of these deletion modules in the correct areas, you'll unlock this next room, which again has the third eye in it. Now like I mentioned before, that room where you've killed the first Minotaur who drops the deletion module, you're going to find your first slash fourth eye. In my case it's my fourth one. If you did it early on, it'll be in your first one. But go into that room and just kind of hug the right wall, and you'll see a chamber in here that has that eye in it. And that's going to be it for this puzzle. That's going to drop you your chest at the entrance portal, which has the catalyst in it, as long as you have gotten the quest from Banshee. Now, I did this before I picked up the quest from Banshee like an idiot, so I don't get the drop here. But if you just go back to the tower, you can pick up the quest from Banshee, and it is retroactive, and you'll just get the quest done immediately and your catalyst completion done right then. So I hope you found this video helpful. Again, if you did, I'd greatly appreciate it if you could like it and subscribe to the channel. 
Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.